So using the same reasoning that we did in part A of this question number three, we can just, then just say that the horizontal and vertical positioning of that angle of 4.05 can be given by, well, the cosine of that, the cosine ratio of that angle will give me the horizontal position on a radius one circle or a unit circle. And the sine of 0.405 is going to give me the vertical positioning on that unit circle. And again, it only works for unit circles, but if it's a unit circle, we can use the sine and cosine as the actual positions. So if I put into my calculator then 4.05 and take the cosine value of that, we're looking at negative 0.615 as a horizontal position. And the vertical position then is going to be based on the sine value, which is negative 0.788 or 79. And that gives me the horizontal and vertical position of that point on the unit circle by just using the sine and cos ratios.